we do have some very nice views of the Cums. It seems like they have decided to move a little bit now that it's nice and cool. And they've actually been very nice to us and they've moved a bit more into the open area. So it's very, very nice because now we can see them clearly. So they're just doing a very, very typical thing that lions do when they start waking up, which is um, they start grooming themselves and each other and yes, and yawning. Normally when animals yawn, it's a good sign that they're going to be a bit more active than what they've been because when you yawn, there's a lot more oxygen that's being pumped into your brain. So you, you know, you get out of that slumber and you start just waking up, opening your eyes and just being more alert of what's around you. If you see a female, there's clearly something in the distance that she's heard of, that she's just keeping an eye out and the cub learning from the mother, clearly looking in that direction. I wonder what it is. We didn't see too much on the way over here. We just spotted a kudu, but it was still at a distance from here. So I'm pretty sure that's not that. But look, they're all looking at something. There is a cub that is just underneath the bushes, roughly in the direction where they're looking. But I'm not too sure if that is really what they're looking at. There's a cub. Being a bit shy. Away from, away from the rest. I'm not too sure. I think they initially were looking at something else and then at the cub. Oh, well, hello. Oh, yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those little ones. You can see how big they are compared to the mothers. Ah. I wonder. They're definitely not looking at the cub. I think there's something else that spiked their interest. And I can't really see from here what it is. I'm just going to wait for them to make their next move in case they are looking at something so that we don't spook them or anything. But I can't believe how much these cubs have grown. I think the last time I saw the Inkahuma cubs was actually when I came for my interview drive, which was almost like 10 months ago. Can you guys believe that? So I'm very happy to see them all looking so healthy and so big. Oh, and there is the one that Taylor was mentioning that had a floppy ear. It's actually the one that we were looking at earlier on. Interesting. Sometimes it's, you know, they just get a floppy ear temporarily or sometimes the ears just break a little. Oh. No, I think the ear seems to be fine. It's just me not being able to see from a distance. <laughs> I think they've all... I just wonder what they're looking at. Jenny, it'll be still a while before the cubs start hunting on its own. So if, because they're still predators, if they see anything around them when they're, you know, in their slumber, they might still attempt to try and catch it, but they will only start participating in the hunts with the mothers once they're older. Normally when they're about a year, a year, a year and a half, that's when the mothers start allowing them to have an active role in the hunts. Let's put it that way. Like we saw this morning, the cubs were around. I'm sure they were just observing and that's the way they learn. Because obviously there is a certain technique involved in the way of lion prize hunts. So they, Ah, oh. did you guys hear that, that bark? I think maybe that's another kudu that's in the distance, and that's what they were looking at. Okay guys, I'm just going to shut up for a little bit, see if maybe we can hear anything else and just see how this plays out for everyone involved. They're starting, they're imitating the mothers. Oh. There it is, it's barking again. So that's the alarm call from one of the antelope. I would put my guess on a kudu that's just spotted the lions. And you hear, it sounds like a dog barking. And all the lions have gone very, very still. I want to try to see maybe with the binoculars if I can see a bit further ahead. It is amazing how they can they clearly know what's there very likely they can see it and smell it and we can't he said 
pretty much how useless we are as humans. Judging by the sounds, I think this animal is leaving. He sounds further and further away now. They're starting to relax a little bit now. I think whatever it was that was looking at them, probably a kudu, has just gone a bit further away because I can feel some of the females have relaxed. Their body language is not the same as before and the cubs are definitely looking a bit more relaxed than what they were now. Because it was funny, even one of the little cubs was standing so still, he, he got caught with one of the paws, the back paw is still, and he hadn't stepped and he just stayed there frozen, avoiding to make any move. Do you see how alert she still is? Could be that, you know, this kudu has given them an idea of where to start hunting. I mean, you guys saw them this morning on the sunrise safari. They were busy looking at some buffalo and they even attempted going at two of them. However, the buffalo escaped. So I wouldn't be surprised if they just actually take it upon themselves to find something else tonight. There's that animal stroll barking. I don't know where it is. I think this noise is coming straight ahead from where we are. Still quite at a distance. Very, very still. 